Hi everyone, and in this tutorial, I'm going to guide you through the quickest and most convenient way to change your IP address using a VPN, which only takes a matter of seconds. So let's get straight into how to connect to a China IP regardless of your current location. In this video, I'll be demonstrating using ExpressVPN as it's widely considered the top VPN available on the market and my personal favorite. Later in this video, I will also discuss the top three VPNs and which one may be most suitable for your needs so you can make an educated and informed decision. First off, download the VPN. As mentioned, I'm using ExpressVPN. The installation process is really quick. Once done, launch the software and log in using your credentials. Now you're ready to change your IP address. On Express, go to the menu button and click VPN locations. Then go to all locations. Here you'll find the countries neatly sorted by continent. You can either look through the list or search the country using the search bar, whichever you prefer. Then you can either double click on the country and Express will automatically select a location or you can select a server location yourself by clicking on the arrow next to some of the countries. Alternatively, you can just select a location and use the on off button. Once you're connected to the VPN server, you can visit a website like myip.com and confirm that your IP is in your desired location. Now any website you visit will think you're browsing from your new location. Now, if you wanna just get the best overall VPN on the market, then just go with ExpressVPN and I placed a special discount code in the description down below. If you like having options, keep watching because I'm gonna be talking about my three favorite VPNs that are also the most popular among VPN users. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch, they're excellent for torrenting, and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN. And this is gonna be the one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN. And it has the most verified no logs policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest levels of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN. And Nord is what I consider the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries. And while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as threat protection, which blocks ads, malware-ridden websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance, and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription, as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. And finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get some bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity. 
and it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Now, NordVPN is a well-rounded, high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is the ideal choice for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions. Features such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. So that's it for this video. Again, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as full reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment down below if you have any questions as I love getting to interact with you guys. And like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or you'd like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.